Little Fox. Christmas Socks and Stocks. Jacob sat with the Christmas present from his grandparents on his lap while the whole family looked on. Let me guess, he said, slowly unwrapping the box with a forced smile. Socks again? He opened the box and found a piece of paper instead. It was a handwritten note that read, Merry Christmas. You, Jacob Price, are the owner of five shares of Orange Software Company's stock. Instead of socks, we got your stock, Grandpa said. Thank you, Grandpa and Grandma, Jacob said. I love Orange's games. Does this mean I'm going to be rich? Everyone laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me, Grandpa said. He led Jacob into his office as the rest of the family opened their last presents. Your grandmother and I wanted to give you something different this year. Your parents told us not to give you money since you'd just spend it. Jacob grinned sheepishly. What else can you do with money besides save or spend it? You can invest it, Grandpa said. Your present this year is an introduction to investing in the stock market. Jacob looked down at the note again. I'm an owner, but I don't own the whole company, right? Grandpa smiled. Right. You own stock in the company. Stock is ownership in the company. You own five shares. A share is a unit of ownership. Companies sell stock to raise money. Don't they make enough money with their products? Jacob asked. Orange Software has a new game coming out soon. It's going to sell millions of copies. Orange makes a lot of money, but companies always need more money to help them expand or compete with other companies. They can use the money from selling stock to develop new products or improve existing ones. They can also use the money to hire employees or cover other business costs. Jacob nodded. Now I get why companies sell stock. But how do people make money buying it? It's an investment. Using money to make more money, Grandpa said. If a company does well and its profits go up, stock owners share in the profits. Then they can sell their stock at a higher price than they first paid. Cool, Jacob said. Money that grows. It can also go the other way, Grandpa warned. Investing is often risky. If the company loses money, the stock price goes down. There's no guarantee which way it will go. Jacob didn't think much about his present until one morning a few weeks later. Orange's latest game has already sold thousands of copies since its release. Dad said from behind a newspaper. The stock price increased 7%. Does that mean I'm making money? Yup. Dad showed Jacob the stock market section of the paper, pointing to Orange Software's listing. Whoa! Jacob said. I made $17.50! Soon, Jacob began paying more attention to the stock market, checking Orange Software's stock every day. Some days it increased a little, while other days it increased a lot. Then there were days when the stock price dropped a little. And one day, after a serious glitch was discovered in a game, the price dropped a lot. When Grandpa called, Jacob talked to him about it. Don't worry too much about little ups or downs, Grandpa said. It's better to think in the long term with investing. Stock prices go up and down every day. Focus on whether a stock does well or not over a longer period of time. For the next year, Jacob tracked Orange's stock. By the following Christmas, it had doubled in price. Jacob had also been working on saving a lot of his allowance. I'm thinking about buying more stock someday, he said to Grandpa. 
I did lots of research before buying stock in Orange, Grandpa said. Big or popular companies aren't always a wise choice. It's important to read about a company in order to make a smart investment. Got it, Jacob said. After dinner, when it was time to open presents, Jacob reached for Grandpa and Grandma's package first. More stock? He asked, eagerly tearing into the present. Since you've already learned about the stock market and investing... Grandpa grinned. We went back to... Jacob laughed. Ha ha ha! Socks! <laughs>